celebrating fiestas and all that. I think that's Spanish also. Yeah, and and for us, for respect of older people, like I think they are more or less the the Chinese way. We got this from the Chinese. Uh, they are very family oriented. Yeah, I remember the Chinese. Yeah, and and the fun loving. I don't know the Indonesian are also. It's just a mixture of stuff, and I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. <laughs> the truth is, I really don't know anymore. <laughs> Taking off your shoes when you get home, that's a very big one. Because I was thinking, I went to my friend's house, and you know, put their shoes on when they left, and like you know, they stay on for the day and then come off to later at night. I'm not sure that it's just an Asian culture thing, or you know, I know a lot of people are doing too that aren't Asians. Because um, I was uh, training for soccer when I was there, um, and I would like after I played, I would shower and then go outside, and they're like, "Oh, you're gonna get sick or something," and I'm like, "Why? Like, why would I get sick? It's like super hot outside. My hair will dry." <laughs> I don't know. They do say that though. <laughs> I think the, the traditional dress is the boro. Not just seeing it, so I was like, why are they just wearing you know, like dress shirts like this? What does this mean? And then knowing the history and then doing my own research about it and I'm saying like, oh, this is why. Friends joking, I was like, oh, it's like, why do you dress like a waiter? And I'm like, you know, that wasn't nice. And he was like, you know, this is part of the culture. And I said, and there's reasons why you can wear this at a summer wedding and it works out well because it is 90 degrees outside and you're the one in the suit and I'm not. And I'm enjoying this right now. So there. So you laughed about that later. <laughs> so like, yeah, it's like, oh, that's a good point. For that. If we have a meeting at at uh, one o'clock, and then the person is not arriving at, it's already one thirty, and the person is not there yet, that will be shocking to Americans. But to the Filipinos, it's normal. Oh, they point with their lips. They're just like. Oh, over there, over there, over there. I'm like, what? <laughs> but yeah, so my mom will occasionally do that. So that's definitely from her background. <laughs> She'd be like, I'll be like, mom, where is it? I'm like, what's that? She's like, over there. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And they do this uh, when they're like trying to get your attention. They go, shh, shh. Hey, shh. I'm like, oh. That is so annoying, like to me it was. Um, but that's just how they, that's how their culture gets your attention. So instead of us saying, hey, they just go, shh. That th uh, trait was inherited from the Spanish, from the Spaniards. Usually those who come late are the VIPs. They are the special guests. So you have to wait for them. Filipinos, if they set the meeting at one o'clock, if you come, if you arrive at two o'clock, you're not late. <laughs> because you are VIP. <laughs> Very important person. <laughs>